Radio. You're listening to Crypto Current, the only podcast that explores the bold projects, exciting opportunities, and the growing reach of blockchain and cryptocurrency. Whether you've got skin in the game or you're just crypto curious, keep an open mind, enjoy the conversation, and stay crypto current. Now here's your host, Richard Carthon. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cryptocurrent. Your host here, Richard Carthon. And today got another really exciting guest um, working on a really cool project that I think has a very unique use case. Uh, so we have Sunil with Global Talent. How are you doing today? Fine. Thank you. Hi. Uh, hi th- uh, hello to everybody. Of course. Well, uh, uh, to get started, how about you give us a little bit of background on yourself? Well, I'm coming from a sports management background. I, I've been working in two, almost 20 years in, in sports management in different basketball teams in, in Europe, being the general manager in, in Europe and, and working for the European leagues. And also I've been working for F1 and, and soccer uh, as, as well. So basically my background come from the business comes from sports management. And also, I've been involved in tech and, and sports. In 2001, I sold a company related to ticketing and, and sports. And then I built up my own hedge fund in 2004 that we were investing in sports uh, in, in very young, talented guys. That, so we, we basically, what we were doing is to buy sports image rights from very young, talented guys. And when they were becoming professional athletes, so we used to sell the, the sports image right to the to the clubs. And that's how we were making money and helping these, the young guys. So and then I sold this this company as well. Gotcha. And so basically, this is my, my background. And three years ago, uh, ago we started to, to think about to build uh, Global Talent. Perfect. Well, before diving into that, um, can you tell me, how did you get into the cryptocurrency and blockchain space in the first place? Like, how did you first learn about it? And then, like, how did you start to get into the field? Well, basically, it was because uh, one of my co-founders and partner of, of Global Talents uh, is a very techy guy. I'm very deep in, 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 the, in this space. And in 2016, he started to talk to me about blockchain and cryptocurrencies. So I started to invest in Bitcoins. And then um, I was more curious about the technology. And uh, so that was about yeah, early uh, 2016, the end of 2015. That's when I, I invest in Bitcoins. And then I moved to to figure out a little bit more about uh, the technology or the, the, the ledger underneath of, of, of Bitcoin. Gotcha. Okay. So, so, um, so with that, so this is, as you said, in 2016, and now you start to build your company, uh, Global Talent. So what is it and how did you come up with the concept? Well, basically it's, it's, um, the first, uh, stock exchange that we trade sports assets. So that was on late, uh, 16, yeah, 2016, with my with Ram with my partner, so we started to talk about that, what, that we should do something related to sports and technology, and then knowing about blockchain, so we thought that the blockchain could make a lot of sense to to use it in in, in our in our business because at, at the end, you know, we could use the technology to solve to solve out some different problems in the sports industry, you know, like traceability, like um, secure the the the, the, the payment. And uh, and also make sure that there is a fair transactions. It doesn't matter if it's a value or economic transaction, but at the end, blockchain it helps in, in in part of 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 that process. So that's why we we start to think about to do something in in blockchain and, and sports, and that's how we came the the idea to build up a, a sports a stock exchange where you can trade sports value or sports digital assets. And then we start to tokenize uh, clubs uh, and athletes and being able to, to do it uh, globally. So that's it's, uh, one of the advantages. And using the, um, we are based in, on, on the blockchain of Ethereum. So using the, the, the blockchain allows us to, you know, to, to make peer to peer transaction and make it much easier than in an old traditional way. 
So and, and, and also it helps us a, a lot to to support uh, young talented because at the end we think that there are a lot of young talented guys all over the world that they have enough sports talent or sports skills to become and it's you know uh, become a big uh, football star, soccer star, basketball star, tennis star. But at the end, they don't have enough financial support. So using technology, using blockchain allows us to to people to to invest with on them and to tokenize them. So it's it's another it's another way to democratize the investment in in the sports. Gotcha. Okay. So real quick, <clears throat> walk me through. So let's say I am a young athlete and I think that I will be able to um, monetize my image in the future. How would I then come on your platform and utilize uh, this particular opportunity? Well, it's very simple. Let's say you are a tennis player, 18, year, 18 years old tennis player. You go to, to the platform, you say, hey, I have enough talent. So you go to the platform, you can start your own campaign, okay? So once you finish to fill in all the, all the documents and all the information, one figure that we call validator is a very well-recognized guy in, in tennis. Uh, in tennis, So he, che- he checks all the information that you have uh, handed and he makes sure that uh, you are real and you are a real tennis player. So, and then he ranks you from one to five, okay? So... This validator ranks you, let's say three out of five, and then write down some opinion about you. So we hash it, this information, and we hash it on the on the on the blockchain. Okay, so in this way, we guarantee that the people that invest in this tennis player, at least they know that somebody uh, that belongs to the, the the tennis world has recommend this guy, or at least has uh, sent or has has made some some real opinion about this this guy. Okay, so then we can start to tokenize uh, you, and you decide the amount that you want to be tokenized. So let's say that you need two hundred thousand dollars for the next three years. That and this two hundred thousand dollars represent twenty percent of your future income, so your future ATP price money for six seven years. So depending what you offer, you know, you can be tokenized and then every, this, this $200,000 that represents, for example, 200,000 tokens. So people can buy your token that represents 20% of your ATP price money for six years. And the funny thing about this is that me as an investor, I can wait, let's say, two or three years until you become a professional tennis player or I can say, okay, I don't want to wait three years until you become a professional player. I prefer to trade your token in our change and then make maybe only 10% profit rather than 10x or 20x if I wait two or three years. So we provide liquidity to the investment. So it's a, it's a, an active and passive way to, to invest in, in, in the sports industry. Gotcha. Really interesting, very unique Um First of, I was the reason I wanted to bring on the show is just it was such a unique uh, pitch and spin on uh, something that's near and dear to me. I, I was a previous Division One uh, student athlete um, in the states, and just seeing like an opportunity like this, I think would be uh, worth checking out for uh, all athletes out there. And um, thank you for walking us through how it all works. And definitely want to encourage everyone listening to, to you know go check out their platform and, and see how it works uh, for yourself. But Kind of transitioning really quickly. So you've been in the crypto space for the last, uh, let's call it three to four years, and I'm sure there's a lot of different projects that are out there that are on your that that you're that you're looking out for. Um, what are some of these projects, and 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 why has it piqued your interest? Well, I've been in, in, in interested in all of the um, the projects that at the end has a real application. Okay, we always have been very focusing on. On projects, or uh, personally, I, I like any any kind of project that makes sense in in, in a way that can ha, can have some real use case in, in your real life. Because otherwise, it makes it so difficult to understand the technologies, and especially in blockchain, that you know is quite new. So, uh, at the end, we are looking for projects that, or a while, I like to look projects that. Uh, use the technology for to solve uh, real problems. Okay, in 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 our case, we are solving 
to increase uh, the the, um, the revenues from sports or athletes. So I, I like another another project that they are tokenizing um, uh, pictures and from different famous artists. So it's similar like this, but in in the in the art environment. So I, I like it as as well. So. At, at the end, I think you know blockchain. It's it's an possible. It's a possibility allows us a possibility to peer to peer transaction, and probably in the next two or three years, we will start to see real uh, projects using uh, the, the technology for for real purpose, it, rather than just infrastructure and uh, and all other all all the things all things very similar. Gotcha. Okay, and and on that on that note. Where do you think the industry is headed in the next six months to a year in both the crypto, the crypto and blockchain space? What are some things that you think people should um, be aware of that you think could be on the way? Well, I think, um, saying again, I think that, that what, what is coming is, I mean, uh, two, you know, one year ago, everybody was talking about STO, you know, securities, uh, tokens, and, and all this stuff. I think that... Oh, STO or security tokens always has been there, okay, and that it's a, it's a, people were talking. But now I think it's time for real application for DApps or apps. It doesn't matter, centralized or decentralized. But at the end, like every single business needs to build up first infrastructure, then uh, to securitize all the process from the legal point of view. But now I think it's it's time to uh, mass adoption. And if we want to have mass adoption, that means to have apps or dApps or anything similar that people can use in a in a just in mobile and and and, and in, in a single click. I mean, people don't need to know that if they are using blockchain or not. What is most important thing is concerning about the, the digital identity. You know, keep your your your, your private data for you, and at least allow uh, allow allow this and. I think there is a big movement all over the world that has changed uh, everything related to that data. And now we usually the people don't concern about data, but now people start to concern about data. Who owns my data? What do they got? What what the, what the guys are doing with my data? So I, I think this is a, a big a big um, movement. And uh, you, I think from the from the following six seven months, it will be a, a very important talk in, in the future, and also a real application apps or apps, uh, as I said before. So that's I think it will move in this in this direction. Absolutely, and uh, thank you for that that insight. I, I really think that is very important, and we have to continue to see how this is going to evolve over time because we're still early in the game. There's still a lot yet to be done and to enter the market. And so all of that advice, everything that you just said is going to be very crucial in making sure that what is to come is going to scale and get us closer to mass adoption. But again, you know, I want to take a moment to thank you again, Sunil, for coming on the show. But before you go, what is a final thought that you want to leave with all of our listeners today? Well, uh, I would like to, to say that well, first of all, thanks. But Especially, I, I would like to say that to, to everybody to encourage to to keep private the, the, to keep the data private. And uh, in, in terms of of global talent, I think we are a company that allow at least to democratize the, the investment in the sports. But basically, what what we allow is to any person in the world that has sports talent to become uh, a professional athlete or, or chief to, to play in a, in a, in a top in, in a top athlete. As you said, in the NCAA, there is a big, big talk right now about uh, if the, the students can get um, sponsorships or not, or if they can get a manager or not. Uh, I think it's not fair that in the you know universities are making big amount of money, uh, TV companies are getting big amount of um, money just from the, the TV rights from the NCAA, while students they are only getting a simple scholarship of you know 250k, 300k, which uh, it doesn't make any any sense because you know the big cake belongs to the universities and and, and brands, while it should belong to the students. So uh, I think we have a, a big potential all all over the world. So any anybody who wants to 
to be involved in, in the sports and, and blockchain, just you want to know anything about 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 us, about me. You know, we are open to any to open any kind of discussions. Gotcha. Well, that sounds great. Thank you for that final thought. And um, before you go, what are some different ways that people can connect with you and learn more about global talent? Well, they can connect with me with my my Twitter account. It's uh, Sunil Badwash, um, or with my uh, Instagram, or also a special on my Telegram, which is uh, at uh, Sunil Badwash. So I'm uh, and also doc, uh, globaltalent.com. So any any person who gets in contact with me or ask for for me and i'm i'm open i'm a guy that uh, always uh, as you know you know open to discussion and open to you know to to, to different ways of thought and to uh, understand the the, the the globally of, of, of blockchain and the globally of tech is it allows us you know to learn from each other so this is one of the most important things Absolutely. Well, thank you for sharing all that information. We'll be sure to get that information in the show notes as well. But uh, again, thank you for coming on, sharing all the information about Global Talent, all the amazing things you're doing to disrupt that industry. And for everyone listening today, stay crypto current. Hi, everyone. Thanks for listening to another episode of Crypto Current. For more information on this episode and all of our episodes, please visit us at www.crypto-current.co. Stay up to date with the latest news in cryptocurrency. You'll receive daily emails Monday through Friday that are personalized and curated content specific to you and your interest, powered by artificial intelligence. Are you an accredited investor looking to invest in cryptocurrency? Crescent City Capital can help. Go to crescentcitycapital.com for more information. If you're finding value in our content, please take five minutes to leave a five-star review and a great comment. Also, please make sure to share this podcast with others. Hello, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the quality of this podcast. I can only thank my amazing producer, Andrew DeRitter, with DeRitter Productions, who has put this together. If you have any podcast, visual, or video needs, please go to DeRitterProductions.com. That's D-E-R-I-T-T-E-R Productions.com. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Crypto Current with Richard Carthon. We'll be back with more exciting developments from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency next week. But until then, stay crypto current. Now.